G'day, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. I'm, I'm actually halfway through doing a project and um, the other day I had the misfortune of breaking a tyre on my BX14 Laguna bandsaw. And it has just arrived, so I thought some of you may suffer the same fate as I did. So I'll show you how to fit one. And there's a couple of tricks involved too. And here's the tyre, just arrived. Now unfortunately I can't show you how to take it off because it broke and it just fell off. The blade is still on there. So release the tension on the blade. Remove the blade from the wheel. You don't necessarily have to take it all the way off. And you'll notice straight away when I try to put this on that it's going to be hard to fit. What I've got is a couple of tyre levers that I've made up um, when I had to change some wheels on something else. And even with the tyre levers, you find it very, very hard to get it to stretch on. And that is a long bit that you've got to pull down. So, the trick is drop it in some boiling water and as luck would have it, I'm just doing some steaming at the moment. So I've got an urn right next to me that's um, full of water bubbling away and I'm going to drop this in there just for a couple of seconds. Now obviously not everybody has an urn boiling in their workshop, I understand that. So what you can do is just get a kettle or something like that and it will do just as well. So I'm just going to submerge that in the boiling water just for a little bit. And I reckon that'll do it. And what I will do is I'll put some gloves on because when I take that out, it's going to be hot. Here we go. Now over to the saw. If you've got someone to give you a hand, that would be great. If not, get yourself a lump of wood and just wedge it in there nicely. And also at the bottom, if you can get a wedge in there, that'll hold that side tight. And then just pull it over. Feed it in. It's gone a bit too far with that one, I think. That's all right. And there you go. You have just fitted a new tire to your bandsaw. Push it down so it's nice and home all the way. And we're ready to rock and roll. Now the big mistake I made was not long ago I replaced the bottom tyre and in all honesty I should have replaced the top tyre at the same time. So that in itself might be something worth remembering. I'm just seeing if I can centralise this blade. Here it comes. 
And there we go. All done. So two tips I have. If you can have someone giving you a hand, much easier with another pair of hands. But more importantly, put it in boiling water. If you don't have an urn in your workshop, and I'm sure you don't, just get a kettle full of boiling water, tip it into a, uh, a bowl or a bucket, put your tyre in there, leave it for about a minute, and then you can fix it. And that means I'm now back in business. I'm happy. Cheers. <laughs>